Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, hi, I'm Rhoda. I am back in this room and in this background. And the only reason for that is that I'm taking you through everything that I am packing for a three day getaway to Vegas with the hubs and everything is in the bathroom. I think this is just the easiest and best way to take you through everything that I'm gonna take with me. And now I'm kind of, as I was getting ready for this video, kind of rethinking things, but we'll see. This time I'm gonna include skincare, sunscreen, all of that good stuff. All right, so let's get into it. I'm packed-ish, like my clothes are packed, but my makeup and all the toiletries and stuff are not. I just really wanted to come on here and take you through this. My husband's like, he will not have enough time to do this. And I said, well, you're right, but I'm gonna try and prove you wrong, you know? This is the Ola Henriksen uh, Pout Preserve Lip Treatment. Oh my goodness. Uh, I have not featured this on my video yet because I just picked it up a couple days ago. It's quite the recovery type of gloss or treatment. It feels so, so very, very nice. And I'm bringing it with me just to make sure that in the desert, my <laughs> lips don't get all like crusty and dusty and musty. We're flying and now of course, I have to deal with a weight limit and I have to be super, super, super duper careful when we went to Boston in August, we drove and I didn't have any worries about that kind of stuff, but now I do. And I'm a notorious overpacker. I'm a notorious over the limit, baggage limit type of person. And so I want to limit the brushes. I know they don't, they don't take up that much space and they don't weigh that much, but still every little counts. So I'm bringing my uh, Sephora daily brush cleaner to make sure that I can reuse uh, the brushes that I bring and I don't have to bring extras or backups. All right, let's get into the juicy nitty gritty. I'm picking everything out as I see it. I'm gonna try and go in order. Of course, I'm bringing my Tom Ford primer, of course, because it's perfect. It's mattifying, but not too drying, right? And so I love it. It's just perfect for any climate, any climate whatsoever for my normal to sometimes combination skin. Like if I get oily, it's gonna be like here and here. But when I go to Vegas, this is like maybe my sixth or seventh time going there. My skin is like, it loves it. Although I do feel a little bit dry on my lips. Um, but if I moisturize using my regular moisturizer, I'm typically okay. So this, this is, this is perfect for any, any climate. Of course, I'm going to bring my Dior Glow starlight glow whatever it's called it's the glowy primer stuff i love to use this under foundation or you can even use it like to highlight you can use it in so many many different ways you can put it into your foundation to give it a glow whatever you want but of course i'm going to bring it with me because it's vegas and i want to be sparkly and i want to be glowy I'm going to bring two foundations with me. I'm going to bring the Dior stick when I'm lazy and I wanna just slap something on. However, however, I am planning on being poolside. And although I'm very, very good about putting my sunscreen on, I typically really get a tan on. I really do if I concentrate enough, if I focus on it, being protected the whole time, mind you, but even still, I could slather on 700 SPF and I will still get a tan. And me and my bestie, we are going to be poolside. I guarantee you that soaking it all in. And therefore, I know that this one by day two, by day two, might not be uh, okay for me because it's 2.5. It's already a little bit too light for me for my summer kind of tan, right? So I'm going to bring a liquid and I'm going to bring the Huda Beauty Easy Blur. I love this. It's easy. It's in the name. It's blurry. It's in the name. I mean, perfect name for it. I love it. I've been loving it, using it nonstop uh, since I picked it up. I love it. And because it's a liquid, and I don't know like how dark I'm gonna get. I'm gonna bring this next product with me to help this guy out. And that product is the Mario Liquid Bronzer. I'm gonna bring light medium with me. I've mentioned this a thousand times before. In case you are brand new here, you can pump this out or you can use the doe foot to use it as a bronzer sculptor or whatever. I'm gonna use it both ways but if i want to deepen up that huda easy blur foundation all i have to do is pump just a smidge in there and just kind of like mix it in and then that will make it darker and then it'll match whatever color i happen to be that day because you know it happens gradually day by day 
and you never know. So this is handy dandy, beautiful, amazing. I love this product. I use it all the time anyway, but this is even better to bring along with me to make sure that my foundation is the perfect match for me on our nights out to the casino and to the shows and to the restaurants that I'm so looking forward to. Trust me, I need a break. Of course, I'm going to bring my Makeup Forever face palette. I have everything I need in here. I guarantee you there's going to be a night where I'm extremely lazy and I have my foundations here. I have my highlighters. I have my blushes. I love this. I have mentioned this on my channel several, several times. It is a staple. It is a 100% you need this in your life. For the under eyes, I'm going to bring the Natasha Denona color corrector in C2. That's what I'm going to bring with me for concealer. I'm going to bring the Tarte Creamy Creaseless Maracuja Concealer. It is fabulous. It's fabulous. I'm not bringing any other concealer. The girl with the problems under the eyes is only bringing this one with her. Of course, I'm going to bring the good eye, not the evil eye, the good eye with me because it just has everything that I could possibly need in here in terms of bronzer, in terms of, if I could open it, turn it around, maybe that would be good. <laughs> Blushes, bronzer, uh, bl another blush here, highlighter and a finishing powder. I just loved it. I just love this and of course I'm going to bring it with me. I always carry my makeup bag with me on my carry-on. I never ever 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 pack my makeup in my luggage A because I don't want it to break and B because I don't want it to get lost because if it ever got lost I would be very upset, you know? For a powder I'm bringing the Danessa Myrex Evolution Loose Powder in shade 2 I've only used it once or twice and I do love it, spoiler alert, but I want to continue to use it and I thought, you know what, let me let me bring it with me on this trip and if it if it really really fails, it fails, whatever. I wanted to bring just one powder with me that I'm trying out for you guys. Bringing this one with and no other powder just so I can test it out further. For bronzer, I always bring a matte option and a glowy option. This is the Makeup by Mario in shade Light Medium. I love this. And this is the RMS in Beachwalk Betty if I want a little bit of a luminous glow to my bronzer. These are the only two bronzers that I am bringing with me. This one because I don't show it enough love and I do actually love it. And I'm trying to use more and more of the products that I actually have in my collection and not just the new ones that I have been purchasing, although this is much newer to my collection. I love it. I do love it as much as my Giorgio Armani, but this is smaller, more compact, and lightweight, and I really, really need the help with the luggage weight, if you know what I mean. Okay, let's get into eyeshadow. I'm going to bring, of course, I'm going to bring the Makeup by Mario Master Mattes. I need this for any base that I'm doing. It also has these grays and this dark, it's almost blue, but a very, very dark blue, and I love it. And of course, I could always use my bronzer in my crease, but these, these shades are so beautiful that I can't not bring this with me. I am also going to bring my Natasha Denona. I need a warm palette because it's different from Mario. I know, I know you're thinking, if you have this, why do you bring the Mario? Let me show you what they look like next to each other. When I want a cooler kind of look, I'm gonna go over here. I know it's a neutral palette, but it's kind of like cooler leaning. And when I want something a little bit warmer, I'm gonna go over here. And also I'm bringing this not necessarily for the mattes, but for the shimmers. So that's why I'm bringing these two. They're a perfect complement to each other, I think. And when I'm feeling funky, this is the Dior Quint in denim. And I love these shades so much. This blue rocks my world. Okay. I do love a blue moment. I do. However, however, when I was getting ready for this video, I whipped out my Dior Silver Essentials. And literally, this is what I have on my eyes, okay? I grabbed an angled brush and I put this shade right here, this dark purple shade, all along my lash line. 
Then I grabbed my Makeup by Mario pencil in Deep Plum and went over that shadow, then smudged everything. Then I took that same angle brush and went into this lilac shade and just went right above it, right above it, just to give it that little bit of like a oomph, you know, a little bit of like life to it. And now I'm thinking this is all I really need to bring with me. And in my crease is just the bronzer, which was the Makeup by Mario bronzer that I just showed you. So I don't know, do I need anything else? Or can I get away with doing this look every night? Cause I mean, why not? We'll see, we'll see. This is the problem that I encounter every time I'm packing my makeup because I love it all, I love it all, and I never know what I wanna do, and I want options, I always want options. And so I always find myself in this conundrum of, you know, do, what do I bring, do I do this, do I bring that? What if I feel like this, but what if I feel like that? It sucks, I don't know. Does anybody else feel this way? What else do I have in here? Oh my God, so, so many things. All right, blush, blush, blush. Okay, of course I'm gonna bring my Armani in this, I don't know the name of it. I can't read it. They have numbers and whatever. It's the bright pink one, but it looks fluorescent when you put it on, but it doesn't end up being fluorescent. I love this so much. If you have watched me long enough, you know this is one of my love, no, it is my love, like my perfect love. And then I'm also going to bring the Hourglass um, Liquid blush in moment and I love this so if I'm feeling a pink moment I'm going to do this one if I'm feeling a peach moment I'm going to do this one but also I'm going to bring the cutest little packaging I love this packaging so much the uh, Merit blush in Stockholm and so I think I'm covered with all three this is more of like a more of a mauve pink this is my bright pink and this is my peach pink and I'm covered. I'm covered. And the other thing about these is that they dry down. You don't have to go on top of them with a powder brush to lock them in. They really do uh, dry down and they're not sticky and that's why I love them so, so very, very much. You really, really could. You, like, you could go over them just to reinforce them with a powder blush. Uh, definitely you could, but because I'm trying to minimize the weight on my luggage I'm just going to oops keep it to these three these three or contour bronzing I am going to bring the Christian Dior in 02 tan I did try 01 it's way too light for me and that's why it looks just so gray uh, this one's a little bit a little bit warm but growing on me and looks actually once I put it on looks really really great I should have included this in the bronzer category but i just saw it in front of me and sorry it's out of place but i just wanted to mention it for eyeliner i'm bringing three i'm bringing my dior liquid eyeliner if i'm ever feeling adventurous just in case i want like a bolder situation happening and then i'm going to bring for brown i'm going to bring cave from hourglass i love this liner and i'm going to bring my black pencil liner from mario super black can't go wrong, the most amazing in the waterline. I love it. So these are the three liners that I'm bringing. For mascara, I'm only gonna bring my Milk uh, Makeup Eyelash Primer and the most magical, most amazing mascara of all time in all the world. Please, if you have not tried it, try it. The Jones Road, okay? And these are the only two that I'm bringing with me. Lip liners, I'm bringing my new favorites, the Fenty... I forget what they're called, but this is Thugs Blush 2, and this is Peanut Butter, and this is Makeup by Mario. Uh, what's it called? Hue. This is Hue. And so these are the three that I'm bringing. This is a very neutral, the Mario one. This one is for my pink lips, and this one is for my warmer neutral. Neutral, warmer, right? It's got a little bit of a warmth to it. So these are the three that I'm going to bring. For lipstick, I'm gonna bring my new faves, the NARS Explicit. I'm gonna bring uh, NV, NV, sorry about my scar, NV. And I'm going to bring Adulteress. So this is my pinker, pinky, when I wanna go pinky, and this is my more neutral warm. For gloss, of course, I'm gonna bring my Anastasia in soft pink. This is the most beautiful, beautiful gloss. I love it, it's sticky. It's sticky, but it's not too sticky. 
It's sticky, meaning it has longevity as much as a gloss can have. Do you know what I mean? Like the stickier they are, the longer that they last. And it's actually not drying on your lips. And it's just so beautiful. And I think I'm going to bring my, because I haven't used it a lot, although it's really, really great. It's the Guerlain, uh, I, I forget what it's called, but it's the Guerlain one. Prism, 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 that one. And that one's really, really pretty too. Feels very, very nice on the lips. I don't know, for some reason, I don't reach for it. Not because it's not good, like at all, at all, at all. I just forget that it's there. And so it's very expensive and I'm gonna bring it and so we can use it. And of course, I'm gonna bring my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray, a little mini that's perfect for travel. And that's what I'm gonna pack with me for that. And now we're gonna move on to skincare and SPF and all of that. All right, let's start with SPF. I only have the Unseen Sunscreen from Super Goop and also the Every Single Face. So these are the two that I'm gonna bring with me. I had a plethora, a plethora of um, SPFs, and I said I'm not gonna buy any more until I'm done them all. I have a like a boatload of empties that I'm gonna do an empties video featuring them in, but um, I didn't realize that I'm down to just this. So these are my only options right now, and I didn't have time to go out and, and get any other SPS, but that's okay because I love these, um, both of them. This is more silicone-y, the Unseen Sunscreen, and this one is just more like a creamy, like more of like a moisturizing type of SPF. So these are the two that I'm going to bring. I'm also going to bring the Super Goop uh, Lip Sunscreen because we have to protect our lips as well. And I'm gonna bring the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless UV Filter Invisible. I, I really love this. If I'm gonna be going out during the day and I wanna put foundation or makeup on top of my SPF, this is the one that I'm going to use. It's actually very, very nice, but extremely expensive. And you know, it's good, it's good, but you know, I have others that I can use under my makeup, but because I have it, I will use it. It's I'm almost out of it, so I'm gonna bring it so I can finish it up. Now for body, the, you can use this on the face too, but I don't think I'm gonna. Um, I haven't used this yet. I bought it and I think I, it was in like a Sephora haul video or whatever, but the Rio Radiance SPF 50, this I'm gonna bring with me to uh, put on my body, my face. I'm very, very particular about, I'm not gonna put like a spray like that on, but um, even though it says you can, but you can put it on, spray it on your hands and put it on your face, but maybe if I need to reapply, I don't know. I'll think about it. But anyway, this is going to be for my body and I hope the fragrance doesn't offend everyone around me because these tend to be extremely, extremely fragrant, you know? For hair, I'm going to bring my Chlorine Dry Shampoo. I would bring the K18 one that I love so much, but it tends to leak sometimes when it's on its side. So I don't wanna take any chances with that one. So I'm gonna bring my Chlorine, which I love just as much as the K18. I love this. Sometimes you just need a refresh. You know what I'm saying? And so this works really, really well. I love it. I'm also gonna bring this mousse called Design Me Puff Me, Puff Me. <laughs> I have very, very thin hair, like really thin hair, and I need some volume, if you know what I'm saying. What am I doing? This, this is a recommendation from my hairdresser, and I love it. I think you can find it on Amazon. I think so, I think that's where I got it. And this uh, Wow, Color Wow, whatever the Wow brand is, Raise the Root, Raise the Root. I know it doesn't look like it, but if you knew, if you only knew what it was like without it, it does a really, really good job. This is worth it, definitely worth it. All right, let's get into skincare. This is the Zio Skin Health line that I use. I have been using for the past maybe five years and I will not stray from this. This is the exfoliating cleanser. This is perfect to keep my skin balanced even with changes of weather. So I'm now going from a very humid climate in Toronto to a very dry climate in Las Vegas. It's got these little beads in it, I'll show you. So it's like a gel-like formula, but it's got little beads in it. So even though it's cleaning your skin, these little beads, they break up and it's like a, the lightest kind of exfoliation 
to your skin and your skin is not left feeling dry after you wash it. Sometimes when you use cleansers, they leave your skin feeling stripped of moisture or like very, very dry. That is not the case with this. I love it. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I should say that I'm not going to bring this whole bottle with me because it weighs a ton. It's a brand new one. I just picked it up. Um, so I'm going to squeeze uh, whatever I need. So I need just like a pea sized amount, 10 squeezes in here, and then it will be in my little container here. And I won't have to take this whole thing with me. This Tatcha, the Camellia cleansing oil will never be without it. Will never be without it. I love it so very, very much. It does such a good job of removing makeup, especially like stubborn eye makeup, and it's not stripping on your face or your eyes, and I love it so, so very much. So I'm bringing this with me, definitely. I don't know if it comes in a mini size. I wish it did. I don't think it does. Regardless, I'm gonna bring it with me. After I use my Zio cleanser, I use the Calming Toner. This is in the morning only. I use another one in the evening. Not only does it completely clean your face of anything that maybe have been left behind, but it makes your skin feel so invigorated and bright and beautiful. And it's so gentle. It's a very, very gentle. This is the calming toner. So this one I use in the morning when I want a calm toner on my face versus the other one, which I use at night. So this one's coming with me too. This is the 10% vitamin C serum. This brightens your skin and evens out your skin tone. I love it so, so very, very much. It protects against environmental factors as well. I would never travel without this, but of course I use it every single day. And I'm bringing my LOA Skin Serum. This is one of my best kept secrets, although it's not really a secret because I think I featured it in my like July favorites. This is amazing. This has seven super herbs that focuses on redness, breakouts. It hydrates your skin and improves its tone and texture immediately. This is so beautiful. I love it. I use it after my vitamin C serum. And finally for moisturizing, this is the Zio AOX serum. This is what I use in the morning. It blurs imperfections. It restores luminosity. It's beautiful on the skin and adds like that luminosity as well, but it just provides that beautiful amount of moisture and also protects your skin. And as a makeup girly, I love the slip that it provides for makeup application. It's very, very lightweight, very, very lightweight. It does provide a glow. People ask me, when I go out with only this on, they ask me what I have on my face. I'm also gonna bring the Zeo Exfoliating Polish. Okay, so this is extremely important, especially when you're traveling, to make sure that you gently exfoliate your face. I use it every like two to three days, depending on how I feel, but it makes your skin look so radiant right after. It's called a polish, and that's exactly what it does. It polishes your face. And actually, once you exfoliate your face, all the rest of your products are more able to absorb properly into your skin and have the maximum benefit that they're meant to do. At night, instead of the calming toner, I use the Zio complexion pads. You know, during the day, there's a lot of environmental factors that affect our skin. This really does like a deep clean and a pouring clean to make sure that everything that's on our face is gone. And so this is a little bit more, I would say, heavy duty. It will make sure that your skin is completely, completely stripped of not the good stuff, but all of the bad stuff. So I use these pads uh, at night. And the moisturizer I use at night is the Daily Defense. This is so lightweight, yet so effective. You don't feel like you have anything on, but I can tell you that this just digs deep into your skin and makes your skin feels just so moisturized and beautiful. It's so lightweight, it feels like a serum, but it provides so much hydration. For the first time ever in my life, I am not packing shampoo. I am going to trust that the shampoo and conditioner at the hotel is okay. I'm sure it is. We'll see. I'll report back. I'll let you know. Uh, that's it. Uh, that's all for this video. And by the way, what's up with the husbands or the partners? I am losing my mind. He is like, 
yeah, I got my stuff ready. It's all good. I'm good. I'm good. And I'm losing my marbles. Okay. I wish I was like that. Why am I not like that? I wish I was. So thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you find this helpful. I love these videos. And if you do like it, give it a thumbs up. Please do consider subscribing to my channel. If you have not already, that would be amazing. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.